Hey guys, so I just want to share this orchid bloom with you guys. It's one of my recent blooms and it's still not finished blooming, but I feel like enough has bloomed to display it. This is a Zygopetalum hybrid. I think it's called a Zygolum. I don't have the tag. Rheindorf, Reisendorf Moonlight. I'm going to put the official name in the video. Let's get into these details. The lip is like velvety suede. The petals and the sepals have like almost a satin, you know, <laughs> and it's just the, the texture, the colors. I believe that green aspect is called a picote around that purple. It's actually so beautiful. The flowers are big, um, close. They're about three inches wide and tall i've been waiting on this for like a year it's fairly easy i've had it in highlight but i'm about to do something different because myth has it that you know certain orchids are supposed to be in highlight and things like that but i have one of um what's supposed to be a highlight orchid in low light and it's throwing up spikes whereas my other orchids that are actually in high and higher light have grown several new growths but haven't thrown up any spikes and they're supposed to throw up a flower on each new growth maturation so i like to think for myself and not just go with what somebody said because oh they're an expert and listen nobody is a fucking expert except for nature and god <laughs> okay period so yeah but like I said, this is I've been waiting on this for like a year. This is so beautiful. It looks like a creature of sorts. That like purple lilac collar. Um that is just this this is just amazing. It's it's otherworldly, really. And um I'm just so happy about this orchid and hopefully I gave you guys something new to add to your collection. Now apparently this is supposed to smell usually the you know most oak orchids to smell i mean smell morning or night depending on when they're pollinated i haven't smelled a smell we'll see but um yeah this is easy i just water it maybe actually every two weeks because it's in moss and bark because i didn't want to disturb the root ball um these type of zygos they're easily to go into shock and die when you disturb the root ball so i didn't do that but yeah well, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this orchid as much as I do. And see you in the next video.